himself. Yes. The living bread. Yes. Said your fathers ate manna from heaven and they perished. Mm -hmm. If you taste of me, oh, if you eat of me, yes. you will never die. Hallelujah. Oh God will give us some living bread today. Wouldn't it be wonderful for that heavenly manna to fall again tonight? Wouldn't it be a beautiful thing if we can sit at the Lord's table as he broke Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. 
Yeah. Sure, that's right. But that's his way. And I ain't gonna question it. Amen. Um, Look. I'm gonna finish in a few minutes. <laughs> in a few minutes. All right. Jesus told a story in Luke 18. He says, let me tell you about prayer. In Luke chapter 18, verse 2 and following, I I'll just tell you a story. I'll read it. He said, there was a woman, a widow, who came to an unjust judge. And she said to this judge, judge, you know, somebody stole my oxen. My neighbor stole my oxen. And he would not return it to me. And I'm a widow. I don't have any husband. I don't have any kids. I need my oxen. Mm. And the judge said, you know, I don't fear God. I don't regard man. Oh, Go away. Huh. But the widow came back the next day. He yes. said, judge, they stole my oxen. <laughs> the judge said, okay, tell me what you do. Come back next month. <laughs> and the woman said, okay. He, he thought she was going to forget. Guess what? Next month, she shows up again. Judge, they stole my oxen. I need my oxen. Mm -hmm. The judge said, okay, well, come back next year. I I'll deal with this next year. The woman waited a whole year, guess what? Next year she comes back again. Good. They stole my ox. They just said, oh, wait a minute. I gotta deal with this thing. I've gotta fix this problem. Yeah. Or else this woman is gonna come to me yeah. every day. She's gonna weary me. Yeah. So this unjust judge that does not fear God nor regards man decides to deal and to decide in this woman's favor. The Lord said, how much more a righteous God will give you what you want if you go to him every day? Oh, Lord. Matthew 15, verse 21, he tells a story about a Syrophoenician woman. Hear, 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 hear the story this woman. This, Matthew said it is a woman of Canaan. So we know she was a Jew. A Jewish woman who was living in Phoenicia. She is Jewish probably because her mom was Jewish. Because women get the religion, kids get the religion of their, of their mom. You know, you know that, right? Kids, whatever religion their mom has, that's the religion that they receive. Whatever race their mom is, that's the race that they have. You know, you teach us in school, you know, if a child comes to be religious and you don't, you can't tell what race he is, what's the race of the mom? So Obama is white, you know that, right? Ah, yeah, <laughs> that's not the message, not the sermon. So this, this woman, she's a woman of Canaan. She's a Jewish woman. Her mother's a Jew. Her father is probably a Phoenician. And his father, his, her grandfather is probably uh, a Syrian. So the woman is well mixed up. She's a Jew with sat with Syrian and Phoenician heritage. The fact that she's a Jew is not important anymore. Now she's called a Syro-Phoenician woman. Wow. The, the, the Phoenicians are idol worshippers and the Jews hate them. The Syrians have oppressed the Jews for thousands of years and the Jews really hate them. So now you 